As a teenager, I was very keen on uh, mountain hiking and caving and going into the mountains of North Wales and the caves of Yorkshire. And I started to get interested in the fossils and minerals that I was picking up in the rocks. And then uh, when I was around uh, 17, I applied to university to go to Imperial College. When I did my PhD, uh, it was largely geology, looking at the products of big explosive volcanic eruptions like the AD 79 eruption of Vesuvius in Pompeii. One of the tremendous experiences of my scientific career was working on the Sufre Hills volcano in Montserrat in the Caribbean. This was a full-blown volcanic emergency in which uh, over 12,000 people were affected by the eruption and had to be evacuated and rehoused. Uh, it was a great privilege working on the island with the people of Montserrat uh, and with the local authorities to make sure as far as possible we kept people safe and we sustained uh, the island uh, for the future. One of the ideas that uh, my research has uh, spawned is the idea that underneath uh, a volcano is a large chamber of magma which gets replenished by new magma coming from depth. On this outcrop you can see that these mafic inclusions are actually very common. Uh, really quite a lot of basalt must have been mixed up into the andesite to cause the eruption. So that idea has uh, essentially been uh, very popular and if you read papers uh, of the last year you'll find that many people refer to this idea and use it to interpret data on volcanoes. Interestingly this idea does have some shortcomings and we're starting to make some observations which suggest that the theory might not be complete or quite right. And so one of the more exciting aspects of my current research is actually trying to see if we can improve on this theory and perhaps develop a new one. The Vettlesen Prize is a uh, an astonishing prize to achieve because it's widely thought that the Vet Lesson Prize is the equivalent of the Nobel Prize for Geology. I think uh, receiving this prize is both, uh, I suppose, a sort of accolade to my own personal research but also my collaboration with many colleagues over many years and I think the prize should be sort of dedicated to my colleagues as well as myself. But it's, I think, also an opportunity to highlight the Earth uh, and what we know about the Earth and what we don't know about the Earth uh, to the public. And I'm hoping that the prize will give me that opportunity to uh, explain what I think is probably the most important area of science of the 21st century, because we're in danger of screwing our planet up in a big way. And we know from our geology and uh, the past that we can't be sure we're going to survive as a species unless we create a sustainable Earth. Thank you.